News here, the 2023 DreamHack Atlanta Festival taking place tonight through Sunday at the Georgia World Congress Center. Atlanta News First reporter Joshua Skinner attended day one and has much more on how a bunch of nerds became an economic driver for Metro Atlanta. Yeah, when I was growing up in the 80s and 90s, gaming meant playing Doom on your family computer. But nowadays, things have advanced. As DreamHack's Guy Blomberg eloquently puts it, Gaming used to have a stereotype. Your stereotypical antisocial, pasty, white, fat nerds in their parents' basement. I mean, that's one way to put it. Kind of the geeks and the nerds, honestly. We play Dungeons and Dragons and we game. But now gaming isn't just cool, it's an economic driver. Gaming quietly as an industry is even bigger than film and TV. Which is why the DreamHack Festival at the Georgia World Congress Center is expected to pull in 40,000 people over the weekend. Great news for Todd Harris in the Atlanta Esports Alliance. Atlanta is truly the capital in the United States for these large esports events. And there will be games. Console, PC, VR, handheld mobile gaming, and tabletop gaming. Lots of games. Card games, board games, RPGs, miniatures. As well as players of another kind. So these are a little bit sharp. These are 3D printed. Um, 3D printed things are a lot harder. They are durable. Pumpkin Steel is running DreamHack's cosplay events, a weekend of meetings and any fixes a costume might need. We have hot glue guns back there. Uh, we're going to have straightener tomorrow, so stuff to fix your wig, um, hairspray, hair ties, paint. Gaming is all grown up, out of the basement and onto the main stage. This is actually the longest North American show that we've been running. Proof that the pasty white nerds knew what they were doing all along. This is a validation of the hobby and the passion that I had when I was a kid that frankly I was kind of ostracized for, so. Playing the defeated jock, Joshua Skinner, Atlanta News First.